There are few different functions that packaging plays. To begin with, containing and protecting products. Packaging enables specific quantities, for example, grams, liters, physical protection due to handling temperature breakages, for example, egg cartons protecting eggs. Packaging also performs promotional duties, in particular using designs, colors, shapes, and materials to try and influence consumers' perception and buying behavior. It also acts as a silent salesperson, as good-looking packaging will catch the eye of the potential customer and silently influence either positively or negatively the perception the customer may have towards the product. Think about when you go to Coles and Woolies and the different products you see, the way it's been labeled, the colors that they've used, and even the material itself. All these elements help to promote a product, even if you've never heard of it. Packaging also functions as facilitating storage and convenience as well as use. Retailers prefer products that protect, prevent spoilage or breakage, and extend product shelf life. Whereas consumers want convenience, easy to handle, open and reclose, as well as different sizes. Have you ever bought a can of tuna or a can of Coke? They have that little clip thing up the top that you can snap back and pull the packaging open? Or maybe a packet of tortillas. Do you notice how they have that handy slit at the side that is resealable? Or what about bread with that little plastic bit up the top? These are all examples of facilitating storage, use and convenience. Lastly, and probably most importantly in today's world, packaging can also facilitate recycling and reducing environmental damage, which is also a pretty big promotional plus. Some companies in the past have also used packaging to target environmentally concerned market segments. For example, Aesop. Their products are made from good quality ingredients, and their packaging tends to be a higher grade of plastic as well as aluminium, allowing for easily recyclable products. We made mention to this one earlier, especially from a packaging perspective. Labeling also makes a huge difference. Labeling has two core functions. One is to be persuasive and the other to be informative. Persuasive labeling, a type of packaging that focuses on promotional theme or logo with consumer information being secondary. For example, claims such as new, improved. Whereas information labeling is a type of packaging labeling designed to help consumers make proper product selection and lower their cognitive dissidence after the purchase. For example, nutritional information on food packages. Product guarantees. An assurance that the product will not break too easily, will work and perform as generally expected, also promotes the quality and use of the product, and declares that the product free of defect or failures, or flag to the consumer that if they buy, their risk is minimized. Under Australian consumer law, most products and services bought in Australia as of 1st January 2011 comes with automatic consumer guarantees that the product or service you purchased will work and do what you asked for 
Product must be of acceptable quality, that is safe, lasting, with no faults, as well as look acceptable. In terms of product and services that are guaranteed, businesses must guarantee products and services they sell, hire or lease for, under $40,000 or over $40,000 that are normally bought for personal or household use. Business vehicles and trailers are also covered, irrespective of costs, provided they are used mainly to transport goods. Businesses must provide these automatic guarantees, regardless of any other warranties they give to you or sell you. If a business fails to deliver any of these guarantees, you as a consumer have the right for repair, replacement or refund, cancelling a service, and even compensation for damage and loss. There are a few things though that voids a guarantee. For example, you bought a product but simply changed your mind, misused a product in any way that caused the problem, knew of or were made aware of the faults before you bought the product, or asked for a service to be done in a certain way against the advice of the business. Overall, as a customer in Australia, you are protected under the Australian Consumer Law when you buy products and services. Warranties. The making of extra promise, verbal or written, by the manufacturer, supplier, or importer about their products. There's also voluntary warranties. These are promises made by a seller, manufacturer, or service provider about what they will do if there is a problem with goods or services. And then express warranties. An understanding, assertion, or representation relating to the quality or condition of goods or services that also include the availability of servicing or parts for goods or services or the availability of matching goods. So, according to the ACCC, which stands for Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, a warranty is a voluntary promise offered by the person or business who sold the product or service to you. Once you buy the product or service, the promise becomes a right that can be enforced under the ACL, which stands for Australian Consumer Law. It's important to remember warranties are separate from your automatic consumer guarantees. Under federal law, warranties are available for you to read before you buy, even when you're shopping by catalog or online. In terms of how a warranty works, with a full warranty, a company guarantees to repair or replace a faulty product during the warranty period. So for example, you purchase a new television and when you bring it home and plug it in, if the television's not working, it's faulty and the company that you bought it from must repair or replace the faulty product. If the product is damaged or defective, companies will offer a full warranty and will replace the product within a reasonable time. A limited warranty though might cover only specific parts or certain types of defect. In the past few years, there have been cases of product recalls, especially in the auto industry. This is where a manufacturer determines that a car model or several models has a safety related defect or does not comply with a federal safety standard. When this happens, automakers will alert owners to the problem and usually offer a free repair. Commonly recalled products include child safety seats, 
cosmetics, food, medication, toys, and of course, vehicles. At the end of the day, as marketers, we must conduct ourselves with ethics and create products that not only meet the needs and wants of our customers, but consider the full cycle when a product is at its end, that it can be recycled or upcycled, and thereby not only provide the essential good or service to the current generation, but for many more to come.